If you were a kid during the 80s and the 90s, then chances are you must have heard of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles at some point. Turtle mania was everywhere back then, but the one form of medium that the Ninja Turtles will mostly be remembered for is, of course, video games. And thanks to Digital Eclipse in collaboration with Konami and Nickelodeon, we now have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Cowabunga Collection. But will this compilation of classic turtle games have you shouting cowabunga? Or does this compilation need to be banished to Dimension X? TMNT The Cowabunga Collection is a compilation of 13 Ninja Turtles games made by Konami between the years 1989 and 1993. The compilation includes the arcade versions of the original TMNT, as well as Turtles in Time, the NES trilogy composing of the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the NES port of the aforementioned arcade game, TMNT 3 The Manhattan Project, the Super NES port of Turtles in Time, all three TMNT games for the original Game Boy, Fall of the Foot Clan, Back from the Sewers, and Radical Rescue, the NES, Sega Genesis, and Super Nintendo versions of Tournament Fighters, and TMNT The Hyperstone Heist for the Sega Genesis. Nine of the games in this compilation do retain their traditional two-player local couch co-op, and there's also an online feature for four of the games that I previously mentioned. Unfortunately, the online portion isn't all that stable. I tried playing the online portion for the TMNT arcade game as well as the Turtles in Time arcade game, and I would get stuck on the select your turtle screen and the game would freeze on me. My only solution was to close out of the game and then restart the game and try again. I've ended up encountering this issue four times while recording and gameplay footage, which is just absolutely very unacceptable. Different people have had varying experiences with the online portion of this game, which also is a problem. This is definitely an issue that absolutely needs to be called out and brought to the attention of Digital Eclipse and Konami. If enough people let Digital Eclipse and Konami know about the issues that are going on with the online portion, then they'll look into these issues and hopefully get them resolved in the future. As with the Digital Eclipse's previous retro gaming compilation releases, there is an in-game museum, this time known as the Turtles Lair which is a very faithful recreation of the hideout from the classic 1987 cartoon series. There is a plethora of archival content in this in-game museum. All of the North American game boxes and manuals are included, and as a special bonus, the Japanese game boxes and manuals are included as well, which is a very nice touch. Konami also went into their super secret archives to give Digital Eclipse never before seen content. And all of this never before seen content has luckily been translated into English, such as a game concept design documents, enemy designs, sprite sheets, and so much more. There's so much never-before-seen content here that it would be tough to try and cram it all into this review. All of this never-before-seen content that Konami sent Digital Eclipse to use especially for this compilation 
is definitely a very wonderful time capsule to look back on to see how these games were made in the 8-bit and 16-bit generations. If anybody from Digital Eclipse watches this review, I implore you to get in contact with Konami and have them get in contact with the Video Game History Foundation. Because all of this never-before-seen content definitely needs to be preserved, in my honest opinion. Other content includes comic book covers of the various Ninja Turtles comic books that have been released throughout the franchise's history, as well as screenshots from the various TMNT cartoons throughout the years, including the original 1987 animated series, the 2003 cartoon, and the most recent iterations, the 2012 computer animated cartoon and the 2018 Rise of the TMNT. There's also a feature that'll let you watch a gameplay that will also help you out when it comes to uh, getting through a lot of the really tough areas in some of the games on this compilation. Especially the underwater level of the original Ninja Turtles game with the electric seaweed and having to defuse all of those bombs, as well as uh, figuring out how to fight the Technodrome boss near the end of the game. You can also press the square button on the PlayStation 4 controller to jump into the game and start playing at any time. The games that I tried out as a part of this compilation all ran smoothly without any problems whatsoever, as if you were playing them on original hardware. Of course, the only one glaring as well as very obvious issue is the lack of the original 1987 TMNT theme song from the cartoon. This is mostly due to licensing issues to try to get the song to use it. And while it's not really a big deal, I can see why a lot of Ninja Turtles fans would really be irked by that or even disappointed. Hopefully this is something that Digital Eclipse, Konami, and Nickelodeon can work out sometime in the future after the launch period for this compilation. There really is a lot to like as well as a lot to love about TMNT The Cowabunga Collection. Unfortunately, with people having issues with the online functionality, it does make this compilation hard to recommend if you're just looking to play with folks online. With 9 out of the 13 games in this compilation having a traditional old school 2 player couch co-op, you really can't go wrong. If you're an old school Ninja Turtles fan who has been with the franchise since the beginning, or a newcomer to the franchise who just wants to see what all of the hubbub was about during the height of Turtle Mania back in the late 80s and early 90s, this is definitely a very great compilation. This compilation gets a whole lot of things right and very little wrong aside from the online functionality. With that being said, I'm going to give Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Cowabunga Collection an 8 out of 10. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite Ninja Turtle game is, as well as your favorite incarnation of the TMNT, as well as your favorite turtle and why. If you enjoyed this review, please feel free to give it a thumbs up, as well as subscribe to the channel. Until next time, this has been Die Hard Gamer, signing out.